In the last video, we introduced polynomials, and we talked about how to combine like terms. And you're going to expand upon those ideas in class and talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. In this video, what I want to do is I want to multiply polynomials. Let's start with a very simple example of multiplying two polynomials. You don't normally think of this as multiplying polynomials, but technically you're taking two, which is a monomial, and you're multiplying it through a binomial, in this case x plus 3. Now we already know how to do this. What you do is you just take the 2 and you distribute it through the parentheses. So you do 2 times x, which is 2x, plus 2 times 3, which is 6. Let's expand upon this. Let's take x and multiply it by x minus 4. So again, you distribute the x through the parentheses. x times x is x squared minus x times 4, we usually write as 4x. Okay, let's do a more complicated example. Now, we're multiplying a binomial times another binomial. And the way that you do this is you multiply the first term in the first binomial through the parentheses. That's going to give you x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. And then we're going to take the second term in the first binomial, and we're going to distribute that through the parentheses as well. We're going to add it all together. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. And now you'll notice that you have a couple of like terms right here in the middle. 3x plus 2x can be combined, because they're like terms, into a 5x, and then the x squared and the 6 just kind of have to be carried down. Now this type of multiplication of polynomials happens so often that we actually give it a name, and that name comes from the operations that we did. You'll notice we multiplied the first two terms in the two binomials. We call that f for first. You'll notice we multiplied the outer two terms in the two binomials. So we call that o for outer. Then we multiplied the inner two terms in the two binomials. So we call that i for inner. And we multiplied the last two terms in the two binomials, which we call l for last. That gave us x squared for the first two terms, 3x for the outers, 2x for the inners, and 6 for the last two terms. So you'll notice the word FOIL is spelled out. And whenever we multiply out two binomials, people will generally refer to that as FOILing the two binomials. Let's do another example where we're multiplying two binomials. First, we multiply the first two terms together. 2x times x is 2x squared. We multiply the outer two terms together. 2x times 4 is 8x. We're going to multiply the inner two terms together. Notice this time we have negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And we'll multiply the last two terms together. Negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12. So we foiled this thing out, and now we have to combine our like terms. 8x minus 3x is just going to give you 5x. All right, let's do a more complicated one. What happens if you now try to multiply a trinomial, that's three terms, times a binomial with two terms. Well, as it turns out, the process is really pretty much the same. We're still going to take every term in the first polynomial and distribute it through every term in the second polynomial. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to take the x squared and multiply it by both the x and the 5. Let's start there. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Now we're going to take the second term in the first polynomial and distribute it through the second polynomial. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 5 is 10x. Now just to remind you, these first two terms came from distributing the x squared through the parentheses in red. These second two terms came from distributing the 2x through the parentheses in blue. And now let's do it one more time. With the negative 4, we're going to distribute that through the parentheses again, and we're going to get our last two terms, which are negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times positive 5 is negative 20. Now just like before, we have some like terms to combine. This time we have even more like terms. This time we have a couple of pairs of like terms. Um, the x cubed is all by itself, so that's going to stay. But we do have a 5x squared and a 2x squared. Those are like terms. We add them together to get 7x squared. Now you'll notice you have a 10x minus a 4x. Those are like terms. 10 minus 4 is 6. So we have 6x. And then the last term is going to be 20. All right, let's box that thing up and get you a video quiz. 
Here it is. I have two sets of binomials to multiply out. Remember, you're going to be using that FOIL technique to multiply these things out. And don't forget to combine your like terms at the end to simplify. All right, see you in the next video.